Have you ever wondered about the long-term impacts of Agent Orange exposure and the benefits available to veterans who served near the Korean DMZ? Today, we're here to unravel this complex issue and shed light on the policies that have evolved over time. Let's rewind to the Korean War, where the extreme conditions posed unique challenges to veterans. For those who served during the Korean War, particularly in severe climates like the Chosen Reservoir Campaign, the risk for conditions related to extreme cold, such as frostbite or skin cancer, is higher. The VA acknowledges these hazards, including noise-related injuries, and encourages veterans with relevant symptoms or conditions to file claims. Fast forward to the Vietnam era between September 1, 1967 and August 31, 1971. Veterans who served near the Korean DMZ during this time are presumed to have been exposed to herbicides like Agent Orange, this shift towards presumption of exposure means these veterans don't need to prove actual exposure to receive disability compensation. This is a significant change from previous policies, recognizing that environmental factors like wind can carry these substances beyond immediate battle areas. In recent years, the policy has expanded to include those who served in the Blue Water Navy up to 12 nautical miles offshore. This broadens the eligibility for veterans who did not have boots on the ground, reflecting a deeper understanding and acknowledgement of how Agent Orange spread and impacted a larger group of veterans. The scope of Agent Orange exposure is under constant review, with potential legislative changes that could further extend coverage, including to those exposed while the chemical was stored in the U.S. or on ships. Currently, there are about 20 to 25 conditions that are recognized as presumptive diseases related to Agent Orange exposure. In summary, the VA's approach to these claims shows a commitment to addressing past oversights and providing due benefits to veterans affected by their service conditions, especially those who served in Korea and were exposed to hazardous conditions or substances like Agent Orange. This ongoing recognition and expansion of presumptive conditions underscore the importance of veterans and their families staying informed about their eligibility for benefits. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay informed stay strong. If you find this information useful, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more.